Hi, welcome to another tutorial of PowerPoint. In this video, I am going to make this stunning and interactive presentation with animation. This presentation is best for corporate clients, e-commerce website, product proposal and more. We can use it anywhere we want. It is a free presentation. The link is in the description. Let's begin from scratch. I am using PowerPoint 2019 which has some new features like Morph Transition that I have used. So make sure you have PowerPoint 2019. So let's begin. Go to the file and select Blank Presentation. Now go to the layout and click Blank Slide. Go to the Insert tab, click Shapes and select Rectangle. Draw the full rectangle in the slide and make sure edges are fully covered. Remove the outline color to no outline. Change the fill color to green color or you can choose any color you want. Now add a text box for heading. Go to the insert tab again. Click on text box. Hold the click button and draw a full rectangle. A text box shown to me. Add a text called about select all the text by using a shortcut of Control A. Change the font style to Montserrat, which I have already downloaded. The link is in the description as well. And set the font size to 40 pt. Make the heading into the bold style and change the black color from white. Rotate this text box into the vertical position with the hold of Shift key. Select the text box and move this text box on to the bottom right position like this. Adjust the text box. Select the rectangle and the box. Move slightly to the left so I can easily add numbers or you can leave it if you don't need number. Let's add the number. Go to the insert tab. Click Shapes. In the flowchart section, select Delay Shape. Click anywhere in the slide. It will draw it for you. Remove the shape outline to none and change the fill color to green again. Adjust the D shape and make sure align to the text box. Select the text box again and bring to the front. Adjust the shape and make sure align to the text box. Select the text box again and duplicate the text box by the shortcut of Ctrl D and rotate back to the horizontal position and add the number to 1. Small the text box and move to the actual position to here. Small the font size to 36 pt. Let me quickly adjust the number in the center position. Select all the shapes including the text box by the shortcut of Ctrl A and group these by using of Ctrl G. Let's add a shadow on whole shape. Go to the Format Shape tab, click Shape Effects and select Shadow. Pick anyone from these. I will pick outer bottom right. Go to the Shapes again, Shadows and Go Shadow option. Change Transparent to 70 or 80 percent in between. Add blur to 8 pt. Close the format shape. Select the number and D shape slightly down for a bit to for a perfect position. Go to the slide again and press Ctrl D to duplicate this slide. Select the whole shape and duplicate this by the same shortcut of Ctrl D. Move this whole box to the left. Make sure the first heading should visible clearly. Select the text boxes and D shape. Move the position above from the first heading. Select the both shapes and change the whole green color to yellow. Replace the about heading from services and change the number as well. 
select the heading and match the position where the number is begin. I am going to fast forward the video because there are some repetitions. For third slide, go to the shape field and click on more fill colors. Add colors to the 247, 127 and 0. Fill shape more colors and 214, 40, 40. And 0. 4873. Now my all fifth slides are completely. Let's work on the cover slide. Go to the slide section, create new blank slide, move to the top and draw a full rectangle. Go to the fill shape and remove the fill shape color and add the thick red outline so I can able to see all the edges clearly now select the rectangle and cut the shape by the shortcut of ctrl x and go to the last slide and paste into it select all the shape with the same shortcut of ctrl a or select and select all and copy all these shapes and go to the first slide and paste it here with use destination theme Select all the shape again without red outline. Drag all these shape to the left side. Select remaining four shapes, services, product, theme, and contact. Copy these shapes and and paste into the second slide with the shortcut of Control B. For third slide, select product, theme, contact. Right click and copy this rectangle and go to the third slide right click and paste with the same theme for fourth slide select theme and contact right click and paste with here for contact copy paste here now let's add the morph animation on all six slides, select all left panel slide, go to the transition, add morph. Now let's show you how it looks. Wow, it look awesome. And everything is perfect. Let's add the content into the slide. I have already designed slide content for this video which has full detail how I designed this slide design with icon, images and text. Kindly watch the video, the link is in the description as well. Oh, I have just noticed. Number 2 is repeated twice. Let me quickly fix this. Now let's add the content on all these slides. Let's add the presentation template. Presentation template, a website where you can download free presentations, Google slide theme and this free PPT file as well. Finally, I made this slide. Let me show you how this looks. One last thing. If you want interactive slide with on-click numbers, you need to work on hyperlink. A hyperlink pop-up shown to me. I want about slide which number is slide 2. Make sure you have selected place in this document and click OK. Repeat all the steps on all numbers and add hyperlink based on the slide number.
and fast forward the video again. Let's add the back button. Go to the insert tab, click shape and select triangle. Click anywhere and rotate this triangle. Remove the outline and change to the purple color. Small the size and place back it to the top right. Small again and it should look beautiful. Right click and go to the hyperlink. Change back to the slide 1 and click OK. Let's show you how the hyperlink works. As you can see, the back button is working and the front but button as well. Wow! Repeat all the steps in all slides. I hope you understand all the steps. If you have any confusion, let me know. I will try to answer your queries. I am fast forward the video again. Finally, the video is ready. Let me show you how it works with interactive slide with click events. If you need any help, feel free to comment it and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching the video.